Chattanooga was a very, very entrepreneurial community. I mean, we were the dynamo of the Dixies in the 30s. I mean, the place was just booming. We were the place that had steel and foundries. As we hit the 1960s and 70s, you saw a change. In 1969, Walter Cronkite. One of our you know, great, revered broadcasters. Walter Cronkite dubbed Chattanooga is the dirtiest city in America. What really took us aback was the minute he said it, we saw it. The great thing about this community is it really views that as a wake-up call. It wounded us, but we're the kind of place that does something about it. I cannot count how many times I have been representing Nokia and a customer has come up to me and said, I see EPB or the City of Chattanooga logo. What have they done now? EPB is really a whole different animal than most utilities. We are a public power utility. We're, we're in business to enable our communities to succeed. And they're really good at it. They wanted to use a fiber communications network to help make their grid smarter. If a piece of equipment fails, that system takes steps to reroute power so that our community continues to be in business. Nobody was talking about the Internet of Things then and it is a perfect example of the beginning, the pioneering of the Internet of Things. Then they figure out that there's so little use of the actual fiber communications network going into each residence, why don't we actually offer broadband service to each home as well? The EPB leadership said to the community, we're going to have our smart grid be smart, but now the byproduct is, is that we're going to be the most wired city in the country, if not the world. One day we had internet speed like everybody else. The next day we had the fastest internet in the world. When the gig was announced for Chattanooga, I probably got 50, 60, 70 emails from people saying, jealous, jealous, do you have that in your house? Seriously? When I rolled into town, I had no idea what it meant. It meant I had really fast Netflix, right? Now the compelling question in our city was, what are people going to do with it? You know, and we didn't know. Yeah, so my, my first time here, um, we walked in uh, those doors right there, and it was just an empty warehouse. And I, and I can remember them going, well, we want to take this warehouse and make it into the most innovative school in this part of the United States. And although the outside may not look very flashy, the inside makes up for it completely. So I'm really excited to take you guys on a tour of Chattanooga STEM School. We were actually the first school in the city to get a gig network within our school. And really for us, that was the key piece for us transforming a classroom from being a teacher-centric to student-centric. I'm more of the facilitator. You know, I, come, I go home and search the computer and come up with these ideas that I want them to try, and then I give it to them. And then they have to research and decide how they're going to complete that project. When students have ideas and they have sparks and they're like, oh, I want to do this, I want to build this, you have the opportunity to do that. It's not just a dream. My favorite girl. I taught at a traditional high school outside of Richmond, Virginia, and came here, and it was like, mind-boggling that, you know, why is that not happening everywhere? The innovation district that we created attracts people who are creative and will come here to, to start those next companies. The thing that I feel like what sets it apart is this spirit that is unafraid to do amazing things. With what we're doing, being the first 3D printed house in the nation, we're really putting Chattanooga on the map in the 3D printing ecosystem. From Nokia's side, the city of Chattanooga is the poster child for how to try new things, to pave the way for others to actually learn from what they've gained. We have a long relationship with Nokia, from doing a real-time streaming of 4K to teaching classes with electron microscopic images. We both have the vision for, for creating a future that's better and different than today.
I really love the fact that the rebirth of Chattanooga has not been an attempt to erase all of the past from our memories, but to honor and elevate the past as we move together into the future. Who would ever think that a little place like Chattanooga, that most people in the world don't even know about, would be light years ahead in terms of technology and connectedness?